Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a Halloween look and this one I decided to do basically an evil witch. And yeah, so let's get into it. So I've already done one eye just so that you can get an idea of what the end result will be. And my right eye is actually harder for me to do. So it's a lot easier to do off camera. So let's get started. I have a bright purple um, cream eyeliner that I'm going to put in the crease and above the crease. So, kind of making a spotlight eye look, kind of. What's a spotlight eye look? For those who, do, who don't know. It's where, um, just like on this side, there is um, a different color just in the middle of the eye. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so. Like that. And it can be messy because I'm actually going to put shadow over it um, toward the end to set it. But I'm going to take a kind of charcoal dark gray color and put that in the middle. And what we're going for is an evil dark witch. Or a glamorous witch. Or a dark glamorous witch. It's more like me. <laughs> more my style. So, I'm just taking the long lasting lustrous eyeshadow that's like a charcoal gray and putting it in the middle. to create like a spotlight. All the long lasting lustrous eyeshadows are gorgeous. Absolutely. So I'm just building up the pigmentation. And there will be fallout, um, but you can always swipe it away with another clean brush. And now I'm going into the Rose Gold Eyeshadow 10 Pan Palette, and I'm going to take the dark gray color on brush. So I'm just gonna take this and run it over the purple that I put in first to kind of not only set it but blend it out. Just to make it even. Yep. And this dark purple has sparkle in it as well. So it makes it even more sparkly. You can always take a makeup wipe to the edges if need be. So that's what it looks like at first. Don't have a makeup wipe with me, but I would, before I do the eyeliner, clean up the edges, but you get the idea. Okay, so I'm going to do the eyeliner. I just have a black one. It's the Intense Ink Eyeliner, and 
just do an easy look. Yeah, straight line on the lash line. It won't show up that much when it comes to putting it on the lash line because of the charcoal gray. You can still tell. Yeah. But just wing it out. And yeah, I would clean up the edges if it was really something that I was going out for. But then you get the idea for that. And I'm going to go back into the brush that I used for the dark purple eyeshadow. And I am just going to run it along the lower lash line. And then mask it. It's a pretty easy look. You can change the shape of it however you want. And now I'm going to just pile on the mascara. Again, favorite, favorite mascara. This look, you won't be able to see them, my lashes, that well. I would put false lashes on, but actually, that is one thing that I really don't know how to do. Yeah, eventually I plan on practicing with lashes. I have a few in my large collection, but I've never used them. And the hat's getting in the way. There we go. <laughs> Making it work. Oh, <laughs> wonderful! A wart. Eh, yeah, that works. <laughs> Wasn't part of the I work. guess that I'm putting a wart on. With mascara. It works. Why not? So, I'm just doing as much mascara as I can just to hopefully make the lashes show a little bit. As you can see, I really don't have an actual costume. I've just bought, you know, head accessories. Yeah. A bow with the neck kind of accessories. It's Halloween on a budget. Yeah, teeny tiny freaking budget. Maybe we'll get some more costumes after Halloween for the sale. Yeah, maybe I'll pick up a couple of things for next year. Although I have a lot already. Yeah. Because I was going to be too ambitious. So you can't really see my lashes, but you get the idea. You can add them totally. I have a blush here, but it doesn't exactly go, so I just grabbed in my collection uh, a blush that was on the darker side, and it happens to not be Elf, which is a surprise. It's one of the things that I got from the Dollar Tree. So, you can go as heavy or as light as you want for this. Dollar Tree has some good products, but some of them are definitely a mess. I'm going to take the other clean side of this and just blend. And of course, it's a Dollar Tree blush, so it's patchy, but it's not, whatever. It's not terrible. Yeah. 
You just look a little rosy. Yeah. Well, it'll be good for when I do the lips. But it kind of has a purpley tone, so it works. Yeah. So I have two lip options and two different ideas. So we'll see how things go. I was trying to look in my collection for a purple lipstick, but I couldn't find it. As usual, when I need something, I can't find it. Mm -hmm. So, you could go anywhere you want with the lips. You could do like a dark purple, of course, to match the eyes. You could do a red lip like I'm doing. And then you could also do something that I'm going to do next. But anyway, um, so this is a little crazy. So this is the first lip option and we'll be back in a second after I wipe this off and do the next one. So the next lip option I'm going to do is a darker one. And I actually have a purple eyeliner which I'm going to use as a lip liner because I don't have anything dark enough. I need to broaden my options. So just line the lips like you normally would. And Jordan is behind the camera, uh, occupying the kitty. Or well, abusing the kitty, but that's... Yeah. Okay, so... Ooh, that had sparkle on it. Mm -hmm. It does. I'm going to take the purple... Um, I can't think. <laughs> cream eyeliner that I used as um, a shadow on the crease. And I'm going to take that just a little bit and use it as a lip color. <laughs> hey, it actually works. Basically, use what you got yep. to make the best deal. Since I have such a small budget, i got to use work with what i got. So, I'm going to let that dry for a minute. And I'm going to get some highlighter on because I almost forgot. Highlighter. How can I forget highlighter? And of course, my highlighter is broken, but that's life. It had an accident. It went falling on the floor. Out of all the things I had had. Yeah. So, I'm going to grab some. First, I'm going to put them on my cheeks. So, pile on the highlighter. And I'm going to do something to my lips in just a second that is going to be hopefully fabulous. Hopefully not a disaster. You see? Hi, Lily. And every witch needs their their cat. The kitty. Yeah. The evil kitty. So. To make this a little more special and fun. 
I'm gonna try and put highlighter on my lip. Will it work? Will it not? Let's watch. Because it's still a little bit tacky. Oh yeah. Kinda makes it shiny. That was what I was going for. Oh, that turned great. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. This is my version of what a witch could look like, and yes, I could clean up a whole lot of things, but, you know, whatever. But what happens, happens. happens. And the mole, or wart. wart, was an accident, but it turned out to actually be pretty cool. So this is what I would do for a witch's look, and I'm going to put down my veil. Because all witches need a veil. Yep. Because... And the witch is dead. Well... <laughs> if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. <laughs> Leave a comment below. Yep. And tell us which lipstick look you liked. And Yep. And... Personally, I actually really like this. I didn't think I would, but... It actually turned out really well. And give us suggestions about what, what other videos you want to see. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh no. Man down. <laughs> makeup down. Yeah, makeup down. That's alright. Do you need that one? No. Okay. I'm almost done. Okay. Hi, Lily. What do you think? Does mommy look pretty? Crazy. <laughs> Just thought Lily needed to be have a a little clip in the video. Again, give us a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and click the little bell to get notifications when we when we post. Have a good day. Bye. Two, one, go. Also, I almost forgot that to mention, I do have new lights. I um, finally got them to come out of their box, because we forgot the last time. But I wanted to thank my sister for ordering them and sending them to me. It's definitely made a difference. So, thanks, Brie.